Hello there, my fellow zombie crusaders, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, episode 24, Weaver's Crusade. Okay, time to get her done. So the way to do it is to plant it, get far away, left shift Q, Blows it up. I'm using my uh, stamina pills so I can just keep running. Because you do not want to hang around here very long. There's also going to be a feral. And then, oh, there he is. And then when you are on phase two of three, the heart does plague you if you get too close. So I'm trying not to get plagued by it. By giving a little time between second and third blast. Heart's gone. On lethal difficulty, blowing up a heart does not kill the zombies around it. On easier difficulties, the zombies around it despawn, but um... Oh, get in. Oh, clean break! What? There he goes. Okay, the pharmacy over there has a heart as well. Oops. I'm a little worried about, uh, the durability of this car. I don't need to worry about, um, looting the hearts, because the loot won't despawn. Um, it would probably even be in my advantage to leave the loot for when we move into the neighborhood, because it will just be a lot easier for me to loot the hearts and then drop them off when I've got a base nearby. Because otherwise it's just a ton of walking. And this time I will demo the scent block as well. I wonder how she's doing. Mm -hmm. hmm, she's about half dead. I don't know what she started at though. So your scent block, which will block the smell. It's not perfect. It's not going to totally mask me like I'm invisible, but it's a uh, it's a big bonus. So here we go. Scent blocking. You can see my plague meter just jumped up, but um, these zombies are kind of none the wiser. So see, see how some of them like that one tracked me a little bit, but most of them didn't. It's sort of like an act of camouflage or something. Fire in the hole. All right, let's go in for the kill. Also, my follower does get the bonus of scent lock a bit. That's why no one can really see her. But given the bonus of scent block, you can definitely see how swarmy these hearts you are get. Real good. This area is officially reopened for business. This is a pretty good demo of how absolutely powerful C4 is and how absolutely powerful uh, scent block is. They're both ridiculously strong. Whoa, Jesus, just randomly ran at me. I wonder how she's doing now. Hmm? Yeah, she didn't really get hurt at all. As long as that plague heart is around, we can't really secure this place.
I'm gonna leave everything else there. I was just seeing if there was gonna be like explosives that would help me take out more hearts or something. That won't work. Okay, uh, where are the other hearts? There's one in that restaurant. I never mentioned it, but I, I think it also is kind of obvious. Uh, don't blow up the C4 when you're in the room. It won't one-tap you unless you're low on health, but it hurts a lot. Now, as soon as the cloud of play goes away, I will set the last charge. Come on. Come on. Shit, we fucked you up real good. This area is officially reopened for business. And the lumber mill is cleared. See how it's turned white? Or gray? Means that I can move in. I thought that... Oh, is that Feral coming at me here? Let me get in my car. Don't really want to get Feral. Plague zombies must think they own this town. So the New Hope Church has still uh, somewhere one more Plague Heart covering it. And that's what I really wanted to clear out too. So I'm not done yet. But we did clear out the, the Lumber Mill, which is good. Okay, I guess we walk from here. And my scent block is about to wear off, so I can be careful, because if you see my plague meter, because I'm on Mr. Dude, he cannot, he lived in squalor and cannot get plagued at all. You know, I want to make sure not to get fully infected. If we're keeping him. Although it makes no sense, until we move in, it makes no sense to lose him, because I would just need to recruit yet one more person, so it would really set me back. Oh, uh, cool. the cool. The the plague, plague heart we just found, it's in that house right there. How are you holding up? Hmm? Uh, somehow you're healthier. I have no idea how, but uh, I'll take it. So with this heart, this will be a little sketchier because I won't be sent blocked. I hope the heart is not like in a dead-end bathroom or something. Sharpshooter, weapon handle. Okay, um... Devin's... Shooting? Sharpshooter or weapon handling? So sharpshooter gives, uh... Steadiness, bullet penetration, and dismemberment. It does not work very well with crossbows, though. Because... You don't get bolts back when they pierce targets. As often. But you can vote for it anyway if you want. Okay, we don't have scent block, so I gotta get moving. So you vote on that while I try to get a play card killed. Oh, it's in the bathroom. This sucks. So when when it only has one way in, one way out. Oh no! I set one here! Okay, that makes this harder. I didn't mean to click that. So now I have to do a phase with my melee. Or I'm not going to have enough explosives to get out. Here we go. That's phase one. Sorry, are you hurting? We'll have some more. Phase two. 
And now I just have to stay clear of the feral and wait for the cloud to go away for me to hit it up with the last explosive. And Brett's dead. Car's gonna get beat up. Oh, that's blurter, that's blurter. Let me roll. Okay, that dude is hilarious. Woo! Full clear of the town. Now it is a little evil, but it is in my advantage to find Ruff and make sure she dies. Oh, here she is. So that I can loot her later. So she is at the restaurant. She's at the barbecue. What, what gives, dude? Feel like oh, that's shit. another feral. Fucking plague zombies. Oh, it's more than one feral. Okay, let's roll. I'll go loot the hearts later with someone healthier. But that's Quattro Hearts. So my current influence is about a thousand, up from I think it was at three hundred or something. But after we loot the hearts and sell off the things they don't want to keep, you know, sell off the luxury items and whatnots, uh, easily that will climb even higher. And this whole town, once I return, is going to have a lot fewer. Uh, plague zombies, because there's no plague in town anymore. I cleared it. So that's um, also a pretty good demonstration of why I brought the heavy weapon with me. Because sometimes you just have misclicks with explosives and you can't disarm them and pick them back up. So when I misclicked and put that random explosive like in the kitchen, I knew right then and there that I had to melee one of the Hearts kind of have like three hit uh, health point bars. I had to melee one of those bars. Also worth mentioning, you can't just set three C4 next to it and blow that up because it is like boss phases. They have phase one, phase two, phase three. So you can't just overkill on phase one and expect the heart just to go pop. You have to set them in steps. I, uh, I, I guess I didn't mention that, but yeah, that's also worth mentioning. You can't just drop three C4, blow it up and walk away. That's why you saw me doing the whole run around, set, run around, set, run around, set. But it all worked out in the end. I just have to be very careful on my way home because I don't have a repair kit. And this guy does not have a health pool. He is like a tickle or two away from turning into a flake zombie. He should be a hero. Yeah, he is a hero. I was going to say, he just blew up four play cards. He should be a hero. So right now, the goal is collect the heart loot. Actually, what is the goal? Should... I collect the heart loot or just focus on getting influence. What do you guys think? So for me to move in, I need 3,500 influence and I need eight survivors. I already have two allied enclaves that I could recruit from that cost me no influence. So I can get eight survivors immediately. I'll, rec I'll recruit Suzanne, and then I'll recruit one of the soldiers that I have access to, to instantly be able to get eight recruits to move in immediately. So the only thing stopping me from moving into the lumber mill right now is influence. Um, collecting the heart loot would give me influence, but it's a lot of items to collect. Meaning that it will take a while for me to, like... It might not be the most time-efficient way to get influence, I think is the more elegant way of putting it. 
there might be more time more time efficient ways to get influence i think the probably the best time uh, efficient way is for me to sell bulk cure and items to neighbors so if i could get medicine uh to make bulk cure on my end's prepper plan there's a string of numbers next to bov bug out vehicle like i mean you know didn't spoil that but bug out vehicle Definitely doing that mission. Hey amigos, I'm back. Ooh, I am out of parts? Holy cow. I guess I did make all that C4, and that C4 costs a lot. So I'll be probably, if you vote for influence, I'll probably be doing that bug out vehicle quest. Cause that also gives influence. I also really like how the facility at night, you know, the hydroponics is illuminated, this whole... Yeah, it's nice. It's homey. It's, it seems comfortable to me, you know? I'm very eager to be in a bigger, better base, for sure. So, we're gonna go with influence. That's what you guys voted on. And let me try to get as much influence as fast as I can. So, that would mean running quests and selling stuff. If it also includes me swinging by the... Um, the hearts to loot them for loot. So be it. But they're kind of out of my way. Oh, wow. The bug out vehicle is like right up the road. <laughs> It's also worth noting that all of the vehicles that are parked at your base uh, travel with you to the new base without you having to drive them. So there isn't a case where I get the bug out vehicle and then I have to like walk all the way back to my home from the new area to drive it over, which would be horrible. So current priority, build up 3,500 influence. Sometimes bloaters, when they die, I think what happens from a code standpoint is you drive away from their uh, their explosion, and you end up in a scenario where um, the sound never goes away, even though they're not physically emitting plague anymore. Oh, three ferals? Why? Why? Mother of God, why? Alright, this will take me a minute. Don't roar. I have to use a little bit of guile and subterfuge here, because, uh... Three ferals would make me very dead very fast. I also just uh, maxed out sharpshooting. So you get a you get a big bonus when you hit elite max. So my elite max is all bullets pierce enemies, which completely sucks with crossbows, but for, um... If I had guns, it'd be pretty baller, because... It allows you to shred hordes. Okay, Pharaohs, you stay over here and I'll leave you alone. You leave me alone.
Okay, my aim sucks. I feel like the bars of the reticle are so large I can't even see his head when I zoom. Hey, J. Lewis. Welcome to the stream. Hope I don't need a repair kit for this thing. That'd be a bit of a problem. That might still run. Could take it for a test drive. Search the trunk. <sighs> Fuel. Hey, a crummy suppressor. That's the ticket. I barely knew my. Actually, I'm not gonna bother fueling it. Wherever she is, I hope she appreciates that we'll put this to good use. It still drives. Vagabond! Basically a, uh, a Jeep Willy. And done. Oh, no. I didn't have my influence boosted. Oh, well. So one of the reasons why I really wanted this vehicle is I have a light vehicle upgrade kit and this Jeep is a light vehicle, technically. So I can upgrade it for freebies. To a trail beast. A new ride? So here's my trail beast. Six storage spots, pretty good, really good fuel economy, um, pretty good durability. And I'll take it, uh, I'll take it around for a spin for a bit. Because I have so few parts, I can't make more repair kits very easily. Except for I did just install the salvage furnace, so I can salvage some some guns for extra parts. But I'll still drive it around a, a little. Because I know you guys want to see some variety. Okay. Uh, there are not missions offered to me. Oh, there's a infestation. I think what I'm going to do is to run a little bit of trade to neighbors. Right now I'm at uh, 1400 influence. I'll try to get it up a little bit. I think it would be really helpful if I found meds to be able to make and then sell bulk cure as well. But I do have some things to sell. I have duplicate books and consumables and the like. Drink up. Will do. Cheers. You just got into the series? You really like it? Well, I appreciate you checking out a stream. Very kind of you. I really... It's going to be a bit of a stretch in the last half hour trying to make the influence I need. It might be possible depending on the... Uh, the resources I get, though. I think it's pretty safe to say I'm going to sell the cast... Well... No, I could always sw switch that back. One of the advantages of the cast make it, uh, making kit is the advanced... The advanced lab I only really need in there installed when I have things to make. So, passive recovery, like... Actually, you know what? Get rid of that. Give me the uh, sanitization machine. Now that we have power. That's even better. The, the So the cast making kit he heals wounds. But if we want to heal blood plague, the sanitizer is even better. And we do have one dude who's super blood plague. So what else can I sell? Not much else. Unless I want to part with guns. I could sell the suppressor because that's kind of garbage. The small suppressors aren't worth using. Okay, trade run. 
and go to the remaining soldiers. So, uh, we have chosen Suzanne to be recruited. So I'm going to go to the remaining soldiers and have you guys choose a soldier to be recruited as well. So the disadvantage of this vehicle... The air is making my eyes burn. It Must accelerates a little bit slower. Um, it's louder, as you can hear. So it pulls zombies from a bit further. It has less storage. And then... Um, and then the ferals don't hold onto the trunk. So they're harder to kill ferals with, as I'm about to demonstrate. I think. But it does have better fuel economy, I believe, if memory serves. I don't have this memorized, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And it's uh, more durable. But like I keep saying, uh, durability doesn't really matter in lethal so much because vehicles are so delicate in lethal. Never mind. That feral gave up on me. They look cool, though. Trail bees look really cool. I wish I could drive those. Oh, is there a feral in your base? They already got him. Your name is Head. How about we see what we've got? Sure. Oh, they can't afford anything. Okay, I'll put all this stuff away because they're not gonna be able to buy anything until their uh, their thing refreshes. So we'll figure out who we want to recruit when we recruit. Hey, good to see you again. Who to recruit? Kenny. Um, no fifth skill, super leveled. So he has striking, weapon handling, resourcefulness, and cardio. Hi. We've got head. Alicia head. She is no fifth. Less leveled. Oh, utilities maxed. Uh, I'm going to do plumbing. So that's Judy. The plumber. And then, where's the last guy? Where'd you go? I heard him. Hey. Brian. Elizabeth Brian. No fifth and super leveled with sword play. So, of the two super leveled, Brian uses sharp swords, is a sharpshooter and a scout. I don't have a swords person yet. And then Kenny is resourcefulness, so he's so Kenny would be better with crossbows. So let me um, let me correct my little intel here a bit. Better expos, and then Brian is better swords. Better swords. All right, you pick between those three. I'll give you five minutes. So it's Suzanne and this person of your choice. And let me go find another enclave to trade with. I'll go trade with the homebodies over here. The Trail Beast does handle pretty well. Um, it's not as fast as the Wichita or Mar Maragra. But it is a nice vehicle. It's um, it's definitely better to off-road with. It has more clearance. Oh, hello. Hello. You come in if you'd like. I don't think you can name yourself the homebodies when you live in a shack down by the river, but okay. Let's see what we have here. Sounds good.
staying safe out there. Let's see what we have here. You know, yeah. they're not, because I'm not allied with them, they're not giving me very good pricing. So I'm going to actually head over to uh, the Fight Club lady. Because she'll give me more influence for the things I sell her. Because we have a better rep. So I'm trying to demo Trail Beast's true advantage, which is to be able to rumble over small debris and things that would stop the Miragra. Like tra train tracks and small rocks and the like is no problem for a Trail Beast, as you can see. Buddy, I almost missed you. So instead of 63, I'm getting 85 for those items. Definitely better. Oh, and you have meds? Oh man, I missed you. You are my favorite NPC in the game. Never die, please. Never die, hey, Cordy. If you Would die, you like I cry. Sure. I'm happy because, you know, with the meds I just bought, I can turn that into even more influence. How much influence does she have spare? Let's try it, okay? 409 or 406. So not enough to buy bulk cure. But my influence is now up to 1600. So I'm... Call it half-ish of the way there. Uh-oh. It's a new day, so I just made influence from having a trade leader as well. If you haven't voted yet, uh, do it, because the poll is pretty close. Oh, Jesus! The poll is pretty close. Mermillon, I almost hit a blutter by reading your chat message. I'm not blaming you! My eyes should be on the road, but that was so close. What bonuses do I get if I ally uh, from my allied enclaves? So I get a parts income from um, from the rowdy outsiders, so parts per day. From the soldiers, they just agree to fight plague hearts with me if I call them in. And then from Fight Club Lady, she levels up my fighting skill and gives me a lot of extra bonus HP. That's why I call her Fight Club Lady. And her bonus is way better than the other two people's bonuses by, like, a lot. That's why I don't want her to die. That bullshit didn't kill me. It made me strong. Okay, one left. All enclaves have no items to trade. I should probably go back to uh, Fight Club Lady. As long as that plague heart is nearby, we can't really secure this place. I'll do that after I turn the meds in and make bulk cure to go sell. Okay, Kenny, Mr. Crossbow. So Kenny and Suzanne, I will try to remember that. Yeah, see how the uh, the trail base kind of like glues itself to the ground? It's very easy to drive this thing. Also, all the driving that I just did, you can see how little fuel I used. So if you're worried about uh, running out of fuel, trail base is pretty stellar. It's just not great against ferals. I should stay away from that plague bloater. And doesn't store too much. Folks, we really got to get cracking on these plague hearts. Dude, I just killed four of them in the last half hour. Come on now. Give me some slack. Alright, so bulk cure. 
Oh, shoot. I did not calculate how much that would cost. I'm gonna have to call in a uh, med trader. Not that we had an abundance to begin with. Anyone wanna come negotiate a trade? If you're still looking for meds, I'm your guy. The good news is I can sell this bulk cure to the meds dude, buy more meds to then make more bulk med cure. So I'll net up. But like, I should have calculated that a little bit better. Hi, Felix. Would you like to trade? Sounds good. So I had what seventeen hundred when I started. That feral's head is armed. Here it is. I'm sure someone can put this to good use. It's not up to nineteen. If don't find more building materials. This place is gonna fall apart. Back down to eighteen. Let's see what we have here. Oh, now he has right. 525 influence to buy the last bulk cure that I make. And I'll still be up meds as a result. So now I have four meds spare. And. Let's see what we have here. Sounds like a plan. 2100 influence. So. Positive feedback loop, if you will. Let's see what we have here. Oh, that sounds about right. Deposit in car? Uh, what do you mean? So if I am looking for more influence, I think the best thing I could do at the moment is to go to those Plague Hearts with the Maragra, because the Maragra has more storage, and sell off some of the uh, the resources I have from, from this. Also claim the New Hope Church as well. So I'm going to go down to the New Hope Church. Let me update that. Claim New Hope Church. And then loot hearts for influence. Oh, yeah, it was probably faster. Yeah, maybe it was faster to deposit it in the car. I, I get what you're saying now, rather than running it to the storage area. Especially if I park the car backwards with the trunk I facing don't the base. Be here any longer than I have to. So the New Hope Church is an interesting, unique landmark. Outpost. Each map has its own unique landmark outpost. Um, the New Hope Church can do morale, bedding, or influence gain, I think, is the third form. I forget its third form. I know it's morale, or beds, or something. In... In Trumbull Valley, you have the Echo Lab, which does the Advanced Bio Lab, which is the mod I bought for the infirmary, allowing you to make plague stuff. In Drucker, it's a hospital. In Cascade, it is a concrete silo for building materials. In... Or no, is that the windmill? I forget which. So yeah, every zone has its own special facility that's unique to that zone. And regardless of whatever benefit it provides, I usually like to get it as an outpost because it's unique. Hang on. If this med tent has more meds, no, it's empty. Never mind. Hey there, it's your neighbor's calling. We need a favor. Oh, this is the mechanics uh, enclave that is asking for help. I almost feel bad for what I just did to that zombie. I knew I'd find something. A light crossbow with standard bolts? Yeah, I can see why someone stashed that. Okay, creepers are coming now. It's the wrong ammo type.
What else is down here? There was the building materials too, right? I think. Yes, there's a hardware store with building materials. So if I end up getting a signal booster from um, Alexis Carter, the network trader, I can also get a building materials outpost as well, which would be pretty nice. Oh, I am way too close to the outpost to not kill these ferals. Really? You took a door off? One thing I gotta say about the New Hope Church is if there's no way to drive up to it, it's kind of obnoxious to deliver items there because if you have to do the last 50 meters or 100 meters walking that's going to get old real quick there might be a way up that i just don't know about so i'll i'll, I'll look around see if there's an alternative route Stop ducking! No, I don't really see another route. I guess the fast way is to just drive up the hill and park on the other side of the wall here. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's not too inconvenient. Hey, Kadath. Glad you could grab a little bit of the stream. This thing looks like pretty well set up as like a base base, too, with the... I mean, I know the walls aren't high, but the scout towers are cool. Make sure it's empty. We're good. Don't see any of them around here. And claim. So it costs a ton of influence. I'm probably not going to be able to hit my influence goals. But we'll see. The outpost is up and running. So here's the advantage. It allows you to pick a strategy. Um, I can get either four extra indoor beds. I can get a morale boost. Or I can get sniper and recon support. And also the ability to reduce threat of zombie sieges. I'm going to pick shelter strategy because I'm lacking indoor beds at the moment. But I can always uh, choose a benefit later. So if we take a look here. Wait, this hasn't kicked on yet? Oh, I have to convert it. There we go. Um, so once, once it goes into effect, I'll have extra beds for people to sleep here, which is cool. All right, let's go loot the hearts around me. Maybe someone and then see if the items that I uh, I loot can get me up to the influence needed. I also would be pretty comfortable parting with things like ethanol uh, that I have tons in, of and selling it I in bulk. That's all I'm going to find here. White noise machine is awesome. So the white noise machine allows you to hook up a white noise mod in your bedroom for extra morale. For the cost of, uh, if you have power. So if I recall correctly... Oh, God. There's a juggernaut sitting where Brut died. Okay, we're going to go to this heart first. And that's a feral. Okay, never mind. I'm going to go get my car. <laughs> you know, I think I think what ended up happening here is I because I haven't... Screamer out from a distance. Because I haven't saved and loaded, 
um, since I cleared the this neighborhood out. It's a situation where all of these zombies had spawned in. Oh, what idiot just used up all the meds. All these zombies are like as a result of it when it was infested and overrun with plague hearts. And they just haven't despawned yet. Because, like, there technically shouldn't even be zombies within this um, safe region around the New Hope Church. It's just, it requires a save and load cycle for them to empty out. But I don't want to do that, because the save and load cycle would also delete things like these plague samples, which I got when I cleared out all the plague hearts. It wouldn't delete the plague heart loot, though. The plague heart loot um, won't, wouldn't, isn't um, at risk of being removed on save and load cycles. I took a big leap of faith there that there was no hidden bloater in that horde. extra beds and now my morale is em empowered so that gives me extra like experience I level up faster skills and everything it's the real advantage of uh, high morale that and like people don't fight oh you're gonna pull me out well I'm gonna park on your head how do you like getting parked on dude that was uh you might not have realized but that was sketchy and some pretty good driving that I like parked the car in his head so he couldn't slash me to hell because if they pull you out of the car you get tore up pretty quickly and the white noise is installed big guy's dead And now I can pretty safely loot the area. Unless more zombies spawn. And also find uh, Brut's corpse, which is somewhere near that restaurant. I should be careful of plague zombies around here. So there is another plague heart maybe here. Actually, I'm not sure where it is. Uh, it would be somewhere around here. You can see that the red buildings are circled around this area. So there's a plague heart somewhere where my yellow cursor is. It's not covering New Hope Church. It's not covering the base, so it doesn't really matter to me. <gasps> Meds! Yes! Another bag of meds. So that will allow me to make or get me some progress towards more bulk cure for more influence. Which is never bad to have. And the Halligan tool. Oh, speaking of which. Yeah, did uh, the Halligan tool I can break down for parts because I'm hurting for parts badly. As long as that plague heart is nearby, we can't really secure this place. Handbook. Swing. No room for that. So I have one spare bed. Look at armor morale. Materials are low. People are a little pissed about that. But uh, morale is fantastic. Davey would be proud. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay to New Haven, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 27th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. 
If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. I keep the same schedule week to week, so it's very easy to schedule it into your calendar. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video to make it easy for you. If you haven't subscribed and you haven't liked the video and you'd like to do so, please do so now. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream perhaps. Stay safe out there in the zombie apocalypse.